Hello again, people of the internet. Um, today's video is going to be about lip reading and kind of everything you need to know. So um, if you've watched my other videos, you will know that um, I have been thrown in a bit at the deep end with this um, and I've had to learn very, very quick um, about lip reading. I lost all my hearing a few months ago, so just like suddenly, that's the thing that can happen. Um, yeah, so I'm going to tell you what I've learned. Uh, hopefully this will be helpful to some people. So um, I'll start with point number one. So this is kind of a very important point to consider and it's that it's really, really difficult and really, really tiring to do. Um, even if you're good at it, like, it's still not easy. Um, it's and it requires so much concentration that you can't you can't do it for a long amount of time. So if you're um, in a situation where you're talking to someone and you know it's probably after half an hour, maybe if you're probably if you're like used to it, maybe a couple of hours. Um, it gets to the point where you just can't understand anything anymore. <laughs> like you just reach reach the limit where and you just you just lose it and you're like I can't actually understand anything anymore. Um, which leads on to point number two, and that is not everyone's good at it. And um, no matter how long you've been doing it or you know how much training you've got, some people just aren't going to be very good at it. Um, you know, there are deaf people out there that cannot lip read, so don't, like, expect every single person that you come across that has any kind of hearing problem is going to be able to lip read really well because that's just not the case. Some people, some people can't do it at all. Um, some people, you know, can, but it's a bit limited, you know. Some people are really, really good at it, but you know, there's a huge variety of abilities out there. So don't go into a conversation expecting that everyone's gonna be really good at it because that's, that might not be true. Um, point number three, um, it requires a f your full, full attention. Like you can't, you can't have the, TV on in the background and be kind of watching TV and kind of talking to someone. You can't be driving and talking to someone. Um, even if you've got like a mirror set up so you can you can see the other person, you can't be driving and talking. You, I mean, maybe like if someone's saying like one word, like you can just quickly look. You could, but it's not like you can't have a conversation when you're driving. You can't have a conversation while watching the TV. Um, can't have a conversation while eating. Um, it's it's one of those things like you have to be focusing on a conversation. So um, don't expect like don't start talking to someone while they're doing some something else, um, and just expect them to understand it. Um, and if you're deaf and you're you know strug you know you're struggling and you're like oh I can't do all these things, you're not going to be able to <laughs> because no like most people can't. Um, I mean, I'm not saying I'm like really good or anything, but I think it's pretty normal to have to have your full, full attention on it. Obviously, all these points are just from like my experience and like various things I've heard other people say. Um, lip read, other people say. Um, not, not from, um, you know, these aren't necessarily applicable to everyone. Um, point number four, um, it requires like certain lighting, you know, you can't lip read in the dark, obviously. Um, also, if someone's standing like against a really bright window or a really bright light, um, they'll kind of be silhouetted and you won't be able, you won't be able to see their, um, you won't be able to lip read them as well because of the light behind their head. Um, so you, if you're, um, if you're doing it, you want to be, if you're the person that, um, doesn't need to lip read and someone's trying to lip read you you need to have your back to, you need to have you need to be facing the lights so 
um, the other per you have the light shining on your face. If it's two people that are trying to lip read each other, you need to get in a position where both of your faces are lit up and neither of you is kind of silhouetted against the light. Um, point number five, the weirdest things can make it really difficult. Um, things like someone having a beard, someone um, having like a, an accent, someone um, someone who's like self-conscious of their teeth and the guy like tries to talk without showing their teeth um, is like another thing. Um, the weirdest one um, that I discovered recently, um, someone's whose lipstick matches the wall behind them. Um, a few weeks ago I went to like a family get together and one of my cousins, we were in, um, we were in my like uncle's house and his dining room walls are like a dark, kind of like a red. And um, my cousin was sitting there and talking to me and her lipstick was the same color red as the wall. And I was like, I've really, and I've really struggled to understand what she was saying. Um, and the only reason I can think of was that her lipstick was the same color as the wall. Um, so that that's a thing. Um, yeah, all sorts of things can make it harder and some people are just harder to lip read. Normally, the better you know someone, like if I know how someone speaks and like the kind of things they're likely to say, I'll be better at it. Random strangers are harder. and But some, you know, even with people I know, some people are easier than others. Um, for example, my dad's got a beard and that makes it harder. Um, and my brothers kind of, um, slur their words a bit and don't speak really clearly and that can be harder um so obviously you know some some people are just harder um through no fault of their own just that's just the way it is um and the next section of this video i'm trying to keep it really short so if it feels like i'm just going but but because i don't want to have all my videos being really really long um so that my next kind of section of this video is um, just some advice on like how to speak to someone who is lip reading or if you um, are going to lip read um, what you should do to like what you should do to make it easier for yourself. Um, obviously I'm not the most experienced at this but these are just some general advice um, and also like specific you know, things that I've noticed. Um, step number one is, well, step number one is don't have a beard. Um, but like, that's a little bit, um, you know, you don't have to like go and shave your beard off if you're a man, if you um, don't want to like, just be aware that's gonna make it harder. Um, <laughs> step one, like reasonable step um, is, get the person's attention um don't just kind of be walking up to someone like talking to them and then kind of get there and ex you know it, like if the person's not looking at you they're not lip reading so you can get their attention by kind of if you're to the side of them you can like wave in front of their like wave or um if you're behind them like tap them or you know, whatever, whatever you need to do to get the person's attention. Um, make sure they're looking at you. Step number two is good lighting. I cannot overemphasize this. Stand with the light shining on your face, not behind your head, yeah? And make sure it's just not dark. If it's dark, then that's just bad. Just turn a light on or, you know, shine a torch on your face or something if that's what you have to do. But um, if it's dark, that's just not going to work. Um, stand face on. Um, even if, like, even if you need to be face on, you can't be, like, side on because that, that just doesn't, that's much, much harder. And obviously if, if, they're not, if, if it's in the back of your head, that's, like, just not going to work. Um, so even if you're in, like, a group situation, I would recommend if it's kind of one deaf person who lip reads and then a group of um, hearing people who don't need to lip read, 
the deaf person should be kind of on sat somewhere where they can see everyone's faces so not like a full circle you want like one person and then like you know a bit might look a bit like an interview panel but like a judging panel but that that actually works better um it's not the most orthodox seating arrangement but it does work better um if you do it like that um and just make sure your face on um also don't say really really random stuff um because a lot of lip reading is guesswork so i mean if you're like if someone's eating and you're like oh are you enjoying your food that's kind of you know you're likely to get that or if you just come up to someone and you're like hi that's that's kind of obvious um and someone's more likely to get that than if you kind of suddenly change the topic or you're just talking about something that is definitely not going to be on that person's mind at the moment you know if you kind of just come up to someone and randomly start talking about like a holiday you went on 10 years ago and the it's you're gonna have to be prepared to like you know try and commute get the make sure the topic is the person knows the topic before you start saying something random if it's related to the situation like they probably already of can guess the topic like if you're eating and you're talking about the food or if you're in the shop and the like bread aisle and um you're kind of asking what kind of bread the person wants that that obviously makes that's kind of the context if you're going to talk about something really random you know like a holiday you went on 10 years ago um you need to be like right I am now going to like okay I would like to talk about a holiday I went on and then make sure that I've got that <laughs> and then start talking about the holiday because if you just randomly go in like oh yeah once I was on a beach in Spain 10 years ago you're not going someone's not going to get that because it's not obvious um speak slowly and clearly um there's kind of I think there's a bit of confusion about this because there's a way to do it that's good and a way to do it that's like really bad you want um so I'll demonstrate so speaking like this a little bit slower than normal but not painfully slow and not exaggerating the words to an over-the-top degree this is really good what's not really good is when you start talking like this because that just that makes it harder so you want slow and clear but not really really slow and really exaggerated so there's there's like good slow and there's bad slow um hopefully that demonstration kind of shows it but you don't want to be talking really really fast and you don't want to be slurring words because that makes it a lot more difficult um and main thing just everyone in this situation needs to be patient because it's it's it can be frustrating because um I, at least I get frustrated, I don't know about anyone else. I get really like, ah, if I just can't understand what someone's saying. Um, or someone's like just saying something and I just have no idea what on earth they could possibly be saying. Um, and especially when it turns out it was something that was really random and it's like, well, how would you have expected me to get that? Of course I haven't got that because, you know, you've just suddenly said something that has nothing to do with anything else in this you know in this conversation so why would i have got that um and then the other person you know is like oh it's taking forever 
or you know or I've repeated it five times already so you've just everyone's got to be patient I am learning <laughs> I am learning patience at um, a rate never before seen um, yes so I think that covers pretty much everything um, if anyone has any more things that they that I've kind of missed um, please add them in the comments because you know I need I need all the help I can get to be honest um, and I'm sure there are I'm sure there are other people out there in the same situation that just need all the help they can get so thank you everyone for watching and um, I'll see you in my next... Well, I won't see any of you because I'm just talking to my phone. But <laughs> I will produce another video for you at some point in the future. Thank you. Bye.